Welcome to vlog four. Um, the last time we were working on um, uh, transferring images of the cupid and the tiger onto these two big, large oil-on canvas paintings, and. Um, the first one didn't really go too well, but the second one, I really like it. I'm going to leave the second one alone. But the first one, I think I'm going to take it out in a few days and uh, pour some paint along it so you can see elements of the drawing underneath, but it's really lost. I like that idea. I've been thinking about it, but at the moment I'm working in wax because what happened is the oil paintings locked me out. Every now and again, it feels like the oil paintings just lock me out. They don't let me in. They don't want me in there. So I have to kind of do other things while this, whatever process it is, is happening. And luckily, um, my wax arrived the other day to do bronze sculptures. So, what I like about wax is, for me, I just get lost in it. You know, two hours can pass, or three hours, I don't even realize time has passed. And, it, and that's really kind of cool that, you know, I just get lost in something. And, uh, and the interesting thing about it um, is, I have no idea what I'm doing either. I have no idea what's happening. What happened was, uh, <laughs> I just started making these like kind of little chocolate cookie shapes on their own, these little round things, because they felt nice. They felt really kind of nice to make. And, and before I knew it then, I, before I knew it, I started putting them together. And I still haven't decided would they be a kind of a really long piece like this like a kind of an abstract rounded pattern that i paint in my paintings or you know <laughs> would they go kind of like this which is slightly different so i really have no idea they evolve and then i might find that i don't like this at all and then i melt it all and start again um but there's something about the wax that I really find very easy to use, enjoyable to use. Whereas these were like little paper mache things I was talking about in Berlin. I didn't have access to wax in Berlin when I wanted to do sculpture. So I just, um, I, I suppose I adapted and I made these little paper mache sculptures of shapes that might or might not appearing appear in some of the paintings. Maybe there were shapes that I, I kind of liked painting as well. Um, and uh, these are like 3D drawings for maybe these. I really have no idea really what's happening. I got really lucky last night. Out of the blue, I started working on these very, very small etching plates that was, they, they were kind of made up for this show, Go Go Pitch Black Night, in the John Martin Gallery in London. For part of that show, I made up some, I worked with an, uh, an etcher and we made up some other plates and I painted into them. And then these were different plates, tiny little ones that were left over. And I've been wanting to use them. Or since then, which was in 2018, and um, I never knew how to use them until last night. This is what they look like. Very simple. They're like printed, uh, etched little images. And then last night, I got these pens. 
I've got different pens going on here. These ones are the oil based on the left, they're the water based on the right. And then last night I just wanted to try and uh, get into it again. So, uh, so I took a really rough one of these prints. It's really rough. And I started getting the pens ready. And some of these pens, in order to get them ready, you have to press down on the nib. And when you press down on the nib, they overflow. And then before I knew it, I had a really nice little technique going by accident, really, where um, I had all these mistakes. And I started having a bit of fun then. And then this is a very old Windsor and Newton green. Um, and I, uh, I've been wanting to use it for a long time, but I didn't know how. So I took out the Windsor and Newton green. Um, and which is a kind of uh, an acrylic so you've got ink acrylic oil based pens water based pens and acrylic and the acrylic and the oil base never go together they're separate i really i'm really liking them because they're really tiny but i got this kind of serpent shape happening here and then in this one, this is almost like a finished etching in a way, but I just added two tiny green dots there, which really kind of set it off. And when you get close into these little etched um, prints, you see stars, because they were really meant for the go, go, pitch black night show, but I never felt like they were ready. Um, so what's happening now is, I'm actually really enjoying myself like I think that's what's happening really because I'm painting with the brushes because I, I uh, earlier this morning I made another mistake where I um, I took the white I just have to do this green here and all one sec that was bugging me really like this green against the grey and I think the grey background to some of these is a perfect uh, background to have that you can then place colors on top. So what happened um, late last night is uh, I took a white, uh, one of these pens here, and I was playing around with it, and then I had a blue next to it, and then they're liquid pens, so then I used my finger, and I started using my fingers and rubbing it in, and then you end up with all these like kind of really cool areas there. So you end up painting, but you can get really fine detailed uh, little areas like these tiny, tiny, um, very tight shapes. <laughs> doing it today and the reason it's a good thing is all my brushes are clean and I have all these containers that are that I can use for mixing paint and because I haven't painted in so long I took out these two medium pieces that I've been working on <sighs> usual for about a year but I'm beginning to I think I think I know what I want to do or actually, I think I know what I'm doing. I don't know if I know what I want to do, but I know what I'm doing.
Thank you.